Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I've had a number of people ask me uh, the same question over and over again in the last week. And the question is whether or not the Slim Pen 2 or the Apple Pencil 2 was better. So I, I gave it some thought and my, my first thought was, and I think I shared this, that the Apple Pencil 2 was still just a, a little bit better as far as line quality. And um, I'm like, well, I'm not going to buy one and, and compare it. And so I just went to the store and did a couple tests and I'll show those to you uh, shortly. If you're new to the channel and use a stylus with a Windows tablet, this is a great channel for you. So please subscribe. If you use an Apple Pencil, this is an okay channel for you. And you can subscribe if you want. <laughs> All right, so the Apple Pencil 2, I, I was under the impression the line quality was just simply better. And so I, I went to Best Buy and did some tests and did some tests with a couple different Apple Pencil 2s in case there was some discrepancy between the variants and one had been used a little more harshly than the other one, but they performed the same way. The line quality is pretty much perfect. There's not any time where I'm seeing it, it jump around or move independent of where the position is on the screen. It's pretty accurate. So the, the big question, and I'll play this video and show you what I saw because both of them, the Slim Pen 2 and the Apple Pencil 2, both produced completely clean, perfect lines using a ruler of sorts. So the big question is, why are you asking? Like, what is the point of asking which one's better, Apple Pencil 2 or Slim Pen 2? If they're both close to perfect, then how do you choose Apple versus Windows? And so that's really what I wanted to talk about. I'm going to play this video, I'll comment through it, and then let's talk at the end together uh, using the comment section. So there's a very small amount of natural wobble that comes from my hand. I have a, a pretty steady hand and so there's really not too much natural wiggle and wobble and jitter that happens from my hand. However, we're going to do that test, that same test with a box. So you can see. And the line is is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it with the Apple Pencil and the Slim Pen too. So I know it's very easy to look at anyone who's different anyone who has a different perspective and say, well, your idea is stupid because you're stupid. <laughs> and, uh, and these are all the things that are wrong with your idea. And, and that's true, always. Other people with different opinions are always stupid. Um, now really, what I think is that there's, there's value in most collective ideas. So you have uh, you know, 100,000 people who are really excited about one idea, there's probably some merit to it. Now, it may not be, you can see, perfect line. Uh, there may not be uh, a problem-free solution just because a lot of people like the idea, but there's probably some merit to it. So when you look at these two solutions, okay, and here we're on the uh, Surface Pro 8, and I want you to look at the quality of the line. This is Slim Pen 2, Surface Pro 8. I'm using Concepts, and you can see it's absolutely perfectly straight. And I don't know, maybe slightly off, but I can't, I can't see it. To me, it looks like it's accurately reproducing what I'm doing, actually doing. And I wanted to do a actual pencil too.
enjoy the sounds. <laughs> Honestly, it's very soothing to me hearing just a regular pencil on paper. This is the original Slim Pen, the Carpenter Pencil. So, uh, so what are the merits of the Apple ecosystem? Well, I would I would say we could list out a handful. One, it's simple. It's easier to use. There's less to fiddle with. So the, the benefits of the Apple ecosystem, because a lot of times we come up with a variety of different excuses for why we're not doing the work that we wish we were doing. Why well, I would be a really good artist, but you know, frankly, it annoys me trying to use technology and the setup for this and the expense of that. And we just make excuse after excuse after excuse for why we're not actually working or doing artwork or doing whatever it is we're doing. And so there are people who I think like the Apple ecosystem because a lot of those hindrances are pulled away. It's not the fastest, it's not the best, but it's very, very consistent. You know what you're going to get. You um, don't have a whole bunch of questions to answer, um, settings to fiddle with, dials to turn. It's just simple. It's like a menu with three items on it. And you may not have a million choices or the very best food, but you can go in there hungry and pick a few things, eat, and be on your way. And then there's the Windows ecosystem, which is very different. However, they are blending. And, you know, I think in the past there was a huge divide between the Windows ecosystem and the Mac ecosystem or the um, App Store ecosystem. And now they are blending more and more. Windows has the Microsoft Store app where they're, they're um, accumulating more and more good apps that can do a whole bunch of different things. And they're simplified and there's less questions that you don't have to search all over the web to find an application. And Apple's expanding some. So I have an iPad, I have um, an iPhone, and I don't have any problems with Mac, but for me, it's, it's limiting, and I like to tinker. I like to solve problems. I like to have more options available versus less. You know, if you give me a menu of three items, out, okay, well, I can learn to deal with this and appreciate it, but I really like having options. And I'm not intimidated by a bunch of different uh, questions or settings or things, unless I'm hungry or hot. Then <laughs> more than one or two options and... and um, it's not good. It's not pleasant. Don't you don't want to be around me. But the Windows ecosystem is like there's a lot of potential, but there's more problems. And so you have different questions there. And like, which one are you going to choose? Apple Pencil or Slim Pen 2? That's not really the question. Uh, both can get it done now. So if you have a question, I, I want to get work done now. I'm an artist. I want to be able to draw clean lines. Both will work for you. But which kind of person are you? Would you rather have something consistent that works every time? And it might be slower, but you're you're not going to be surprised by certain things. Or do you want something that's kind of fast, a little dangerous? Well, this makes me think of dating a really attractive woman. <laughs> I think I've made this analogy before. Um, it's a little dangerous. I kind of like the danger. It's a little risky. Sometimes your heart races. But... There's more to it. There's more risk. There's more reward. Or it's a sure thing. It's a simple bet. You have less to worry about. And uh, there's less problems. And, and there's your Apple ecosystem. Okay, so which kind of person are you? Why do you think people should choose an Apple Pencil versus a Slim Pen 2? What is your thoughts? Why do you think that that Apple... The merits of both. We... we it's going to happen no matter what. 
Uh, people who will still comment, you know, one's stupid, the other's great. Okay, they're not. Both of them are really good. Both of them are really good solutions with a lot of merit. So if we can try to do a semi-civil conversation, uh, Apple versus uh, Windows, then let's try and do it in the comments. Why do you think someone should choose Apple versus Windows now that the pens are comparable? Now note, the side button on the Surface Pen, the Slim Pen 2, can be changed, and so there's some more options. Uh, this video is sponsored by Tablet Pro, touch hotkeys for Windows tablets that allows you to use keyboard shortcuts inside of your drawing program so you can use your tablet like a tablet without a keyboard, without a desk, and with the same performance and efficiency as a desktop workstation. Okay. <laughs> In my head, the end of this video, all I see is the old Street Fighter video game, like, ready, fight. And, and <laughs> don't fight, don't fight. Right, you can fight, I don't really care. But let's have some good conversation. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.